We just got done at the post office. I got a package. I got a package from Bricklink. Look at that. I cannot wait to get into this set. Hey, that's JB, Brick Fanatic here. And as you just saw, I got this from the post office just a few minutes ago, and I'm really excited to get into it. As you can clearly see, this is from Bricklink, and that can only mean one thing. This is a set from the AFAL Designer Program. If you do not know what that is, go to bricklink.com and just check it out. Look at everything that's going on. Essentially what it is is to celebrate 60 years of the Lego brick. Bricklink partnered with Lego to create sets that a falls designed so a bunch of a falls designed um, sets and a few of them were picked i think like 12 maybe 14 i forget how many sets were picked but then lego themselves would supply the pieces and bricklink would make their own packaging and everything and they would be official bricklink sets they're not official lego sets as they don't have numbers but um they are really really cool and they are backed by lego so they're lego sponsored not lego sets but anyway let's get right into this um, i'm really really excited so let's just let's just crack this thing open and see what's going on here. Let's show you this experience. Oh my goodness, look at that. It is a box within a box, which is uh, totally cool. It's totally tubular. And that is my address. Cut that right open and oh man, look at that. Look at that, look how crisp that is. It's, it's, pull this out <laughs> I'm excited if you can't tell look at this thing the vintage roadster so um, yeah there's I got number 147 that's pretty cool so what happens is you could pull out this bottom part here oh my goodness this is so cool okay I, I, before I, before I do that let's um let's look at this this set was designed by Gallic Tech he's from the United States and yeah, so, so here on the box you can see that it says celebrating 60 years of the LEGO brick with the LEGO group. And there's the exclusive brick link. There's 136 unique parts in this. Um, and there's 40, 474 total parts. So as you can see, it comes with this picture on the back of what the set is. And it's just really, really cool. I'm really happy to have it. And it's a sleeve, so you can pull out the sleeve here. There you go, a fall designer program hosted by Bricklink. Bricklink and the LEGO Group are celebrating 60 years of the LEGO Brick with the AFOL community by realizing unique designs and truly original themes. Learn more about the program at bricklink.com and then you got some disclaimers here. But this black box is just so amazing. Look at that, it even, oh, this is awesome. Look at that, the vintage Roadster. There's like this really cool looking thing designed by Galactech. All right, so let's get into that. But um, actually, before we open up that box, I did want to show you the sleeves that these sets come in actually act as part of the set. As you can see, opening this thing up, look at that. It's this whole uh, like beach front background. This looks like probably California. I know it's not Hawaii, but yeah, so look at that. That's just awesome. I'll probably use this in the thumbnail and everything. I'll probably have this built and set up. But yeah, this is just so cool. Let's get right into this box here. Let's open this thing up. Now I did also order the um, the antique fire truck created by Boone. Um, that'll be really really nice nice to get too. But um, yeah, let's open this up and here we go. It says thank you and you guys can pause that and read that if you so desire. And then on the back it shows the other sets. So how many are there? Five. There's 13 of them. So 13 sets made it. I got the vintage roadster. This one I kind of wanted the castle after seeing it in person. Um, because at Brickworld Chicago, they actually had all of them in person, which was really neat to see. So I looked at this guy, and then the, I also saw Boone's original um, uh, fire engine there. But yeah, so let's pull this out. Here is an exclusive Technic brick. It's a 2x4 with three axle holes with a 60 years printed on it. Look at that. So this is going to be completely exclusive to this Bricklink thing. I think each set comes with one of those. So that's just amazing. And then we have different bags here. So this is bag 1A, and then this is 1B, 1C, and 1D. So there's four different bags. And then you have a really cool instruction manual here. Like some sort of code on the back. I don't know what that is. Probably just a, something. 
flipping through the instructions. Um, it's a it's a it's a regular paper, but it's a it's a high quality gloss paper. So I mean, it's not it's not like the same it's not the same material that Lego uses. Um, it's just a it's probably a little bit cheaper, but it's it's all good. The instructions are look very very clear, very nice, uh, much like Lego. So I'm really excited to build this thing up. Let's move this box out of the way here. Put this off to the side. Lay out all the parts. Yeah, so this is a smaller one. It costs less than $100. I think it's $60, maybe $70. $60, I think it is. And then, yeah, so this is just a nice little card that can go with that. But all in all, I'm really happy. So let's build this guy up right now. All right, so guys, right away when they told me to do this, I knew it was wrong. So fortunately, I have to break my own rules by not doing stressing pieces. Um, I did the same thing with the Lunar Lander, but um, look at this. So this piece is on a hinge and these extend longer than that. So what it wants me to do is pull this part down and then press it on there. And if you can see, quite obviously, this is at a down slope. So it's stressing the part and it's completely bending it the wrong way it shouldn't. But you know, that's what the instructions say, so that's what I'm gonna do, I guess. And just like that, we are done with the model, and this is an incredible model. I am really happy to have it. Glad I could support BrickLink and the 60 year anniversary, the AFAL Designer Program. The builder did such a nice job with this, just looking at all the little details and I'll get up close to everything. Um, I think the biggest and most striking is just the all general shape of it. You can see it has this nice um, angle at the back and the front and then also just the curves. Using the hot air balloon pieces for fenders like this is awesome. I know Lego did it in the uh, Penguin Rider set from uh, the Lego Batman movie, but this just takes it to a whole new level. Um, the way that it was connected under here, again I'll get into more detail about that but it's just an incredible model. Um, also, if you can hear some uh, work going on, I have having my deck replaced, so there's some noise. So I apologize if you can hear that, but let's get right into all the details right now. First off, here we do have the front of the model and you have the nice bumper here, as well as the lights. And then the grill on the inside there that you can see, it's kind of dark, but uh, you can see that right in there. And it just looks really, really cool. There's also these reflectors or whatever they're supposed to be. I'm not exactly sure, um, but it just adds a whole um, another level of detail. The model comes with a bunch of this flat silver or it's almost, it's like it's in between chrome and flat silver. I don't know, it's a really unique, um, color there. It's very shiny. It's definitely not chrome, but it's um, I, I think it's called flat silver But uh, you got a lot of these in the set. You got some on the back here, which I'll show you again, but um, Again the just the whole shaping is using this hot air balloon piece. There is just um, Very very smart very brilliant. I like um, just how everything it's so flush it, it, um, like, like look at that. There's like no gap in between there and then the the shaping continues using these uh, the curved two by two slopes there. So this is just super awesome. Um, and then coming into here, you can see this grill. 
right there it also uses the flat silver shiny bits and just again the whole shaping of it uses the hinge pieces and it just looks very cool there actually is engine detail you can easily remove this piece as it's connected by two studs and looking inside there you can see all the engine detail and oh, I just love it it looks very very nice um, all the shininess in there just the whole it's a V8 engine um, so yeah, looking at everything, you can pull off the other side as well, but yeah, it just looks so cool. I'm very happy with um, just the way it turned out and the way that the builder was able to get that shaping in there. It just it looks very cool. Very, very nice. Moving on to the midsection of this model, you can see that it has some awesome leather seats in there. The dark, or just the regular reddish brown there, um, works very, very well. You can see there's also some detail in here. You have the stick as well as the uh, odometer, speedometer. I don't really know what, which one it is. But anyway, um, yeah, the seat's in there, and it can actually house a minifigure. Let's put a, let's put a JB in there. Um, obviously it's not to scale, but it kind of looks, actually looks kind of funny if you put it like that. You can have JB sticking out the back there, but um, yeah. So just the whole, the whole thing and also the doors do indeed open, of course, and they're very smoothed over. Um, they don't open like traditional uh, modern cars. They open from the opposite angle, but I'm sure this is accurate to the century that this car is um, based off of, and that it uses this tooth piece as the door handle, which you can actually use. The windscreen here is on a hinge, and it just, you know, it flows together very nicely. I'm really happy with just the way that it looks, and again, the overall shaping. You also have the um, the illusion or the the suggestion of a top, so this could like fold over and become a, it's, it's a top, it's convertible. So um, I like the way that that looks. It looks very nice, very smooth, very accurate to a real car. And then moving on to the back here, you can see once again, the, the fenders here just flow very nicely. They fit very cool, um, just all together in there. Then you have backup lights as well as more of this shininess that just looks so, so cool. So again, some of the building techniques in here, just um, some craziness and how everything just just fits together so well, it's, it, it blows my mind that they were able to um, accomplish stuff like that. All the shapes like that and just again, the whole inside area is so cool and it all comes together to be a very, very cool model. Bringing you down to ground level here, you can see just again, the general shaping of it all. Very thin, very smooth bottom there and just, oh, it's so aerodynamic and and it just looks really, really nice. I love, I'm really happy I got the set. I love the set. Um, it's not an official Lego set as, as I explained earlier, but it's very nice, very cool building techniques also used. If you did enjoy this video, wanna hit the like button. If you wanna see more of what I do, Star Wars and other mocks, and also haul videos, you can go ahead and subscribe if that is something you wish to do. But that is gonna wrap up this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.